Hi, I'm Sifu Michael Martin, and we're going to go over the 24 foundations of Bagua Zhang according to Gao Yi Shen. These are the um, foundational points or principles that you need to accomplish when you're doing the green dragon posture or dragon posture or pushing mill posture, whatever you choose to call it. These 24 foundations apply to the eight mother palms, and they apply to all the postures, really, but there are some things that apply specifically to the green dragon posture, and we'll go over that as, as we go through them. Number one, mind and intention must be still. That means you want to focus your intent on what you're doing right now. You don't want to think about what you just did or what you're about to do, but you focus your mind on what you're doing right now. You allow your attention to come to the end of your fingertips in both hands. Number two, the breath must be even. That means you don't want to walk so hard when you walk the circle that you allow yourself to become out of breath. It also means that my inhale and exhale should be even. What I inhale is what I should exhale. The head must lift up. That means the crown wants to point up towards the sky. It should feel like you're being lifted up by a string at the top of your head. Number four, the tongue must touch the roof of the mouth. And anyone who's done any Qigong or any kind of internal work understands the importance of that. The neck must turn. I want to allow my neck to turn so that my head can comfortably watch my forward hand. That also helps generate that coiling feeling in the body. Number six, my eyes must follow my fingertips. Number seven, the Dantian must be full. I want to relax and let my energy sink to my Dantian. Shoulders must sink. That means my shoulders want to be down and relaxed and attached to my body. Elbows must drop. What that means is, and you see this a lot in, in beginners when they start walking in a circle, that forward elbow will roll out. What you want to do is let that forward elbow relax and drop. It should feel like you're coiling in, holding a ball in, in between your arms by dropping your elbows in. Chest must be hollow. I want to allow my chest to sink and round like I'm holding a big beach ball. My waist, the waist, not the hips, but the waist must turn. It's the turning of the waist that brings you around the circle. Hips must sit. So what that means is I want to have my hips come level. And I do that by sitting. Another way to think of that is pointing my belly button up at a 45. What I also want to do as I'm doing that, I want to pull my anus up slightly. You don't want to think of it as you're tightening and pulling. When I do that, sit with my hips. I'm going to slightly draw my anus up. It will almost take care of itself if I sit with my hips. Knees must join. I want to bend and connect my knees as I walk. The legs must bend. That bending of the legs will happen when I join my knees and I sit with my hips. I will also bend my legs. I want to bend or sit so that the top of my thighs Gently pressure my lower abdomen as I walk. Wrist must settle. What that means is I don't want my wrist straight, and I don't want it straight up and down. It should be relaxed and settle, just like leaves falling to the ground. It should relax and settle. There's a slight pulling or tendon stretch, but it's not hard and it's not straight. It relaxes and settles. That allows the energy to come out to the fingers. Fingertips must be extended. I don't want them curled over or doing weird. I want, I want them extended. That opens up the channels and allows the energy and the intention to come all the way to the tips. Rear fingers must follow the front elbow. I want the rear fingers to point towards the front elbow. Rear elbow must protect the heart. And the way that works is <clears throat> I want this rear arm to wrap around so that my rear elbow is covering my chest and my heart. The left arm is actually able to get to the heart a little bit better than, than the right, but the idea is there. For my, the rear arm to wrap so that it protects my heart. 
feet must be sprung. And what that means is there should be um, a springing, coiling feeling in the legs as you step. So as you're walking, it should feel like the feet are, are springing off the ground. Toes must grasp. What that means is you're not grabbing hard and holding on for dear life. Is as you walk, there's just a slight drawing up of the bubbling wellspring that causes the toes to slightly grasp the ground. And this helps root you into the ground. But it should not be hard. It should not be hanging on for dear life. It's just a slight, ever so slight pulling. Your steps must be light. The way my first Bible teacher used to say that is, you must imagine that you're walking on very, very thin ice. And finally, walking must be stable. What this means is, no up and down, no side to side as you're walking. And this is the one that I see violated more often than not, is I see a lot of that up and down movement. And, and these are guys who are supposed to be masters. If you're doing that, well, you haven't mastered the Bible that I was taught. Your, everything should be stable and smooth as you walk. No up and down, no side to side. Those are the 24 principles. If you follow those as you are walking the circle and move, moving through your changes or through all of your static postures, you're going to feel your energy flow much stronger and more powerful, and you will understand how this stuff works and can be so effective. Thank you.